Well, here we go. I'm going to show you how to make one of those 90 degree buildings with three stories on it. It's fairly simple to do, and I hope the step-by-step -step instructions that I do are okay. If not, let me know in the comments, and I will try to amend them in the next few videos. So, without further ado, let's get to it. I've already started because I was taking pictures and was just going to narrate like I did with the last one. Anyway, what I've done so far is I got poster board. This is just regular poster board. And I cut a 10 by 10, 10 inch by 10 inch square out of poster board, okay? What I did is I drew a jagged line from one corner to the other corner, okay? And I put some windows, but that's just brainstorming. I cut with a razor blade on the jagged line. Well, not really on it, but like just generalizing. And then what I've done to get this textured feel is I tore off, if I can do this, you tear off the, the first layer of this poster board and you get this nice textured feel. Take chunks of the side, you get that bullet hole kind of feel. And you just want to do this to, to uh, both sides. When you are all said and done, you can get these things to stand stand up like so, like what they're going to be, and it looks okay. Um, now I'm just going to start. I've already done a uh, building where they have windows and all that good stuff. So I'm going to make more of a warehouse where these were solid walls, and there's going to be massive holes in it, like it took a lot of damage. What I'm doing is I'm just cutting with a razor blade in like a square pattern. Um, go on the back side. Do the same thing. I'm gonna punch a hole. Okay. Give you that starting of a a random hole. That's what that does. Is it just gives you that random that random blast pattern looking hole. Now I'm going to clean up this hole. Kinda here. I gotta gonna make it more of a circle. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm angling the blade and cutting because most of the damage was done on the outside and the inner wall protected it. So that's how I'm going to achieve that effect. And then cut off some of these, these clean edges. You don't want any clean edges because then it gives it that fake feel. So I'm just grating the razor blade across it and there you go. That is a general hole. So I'm going to do this a few more times on this, and I'm going to make different types of holes, bullet holes. Um, actually, I do a bullet hole now. It's it's a blast mark that doesn't go all the way through. What you do is you, again, angle the razor blade. You just cut a, a small impression that goes through only one layer of the poster board. Okay. There's this. Now it's just an impression. And it looks fairly uh, fairly randomized, like it was just a bullet hole, deep impression that doesn't go all the way through. So that's all we wanted to achieve. Now I'm going to do this to this piece and the other piece. And then I will give you an update from there. Okay, so here we go. And we got, it looks like Swiss cheese now. But I got the effect I was going for. Just massively blown up. And I, I overdid the holes because I want to have line of sight through here. I want it to be a building that you can have units in and fire out of. Um, so I made it really damaged and gave it a lot of holes so that could happen. So it's not just this huge massive building that just blocks line of sight. I wanted uh, to be able to shoot through this. So the next step to this is going to be putting them together. Okay, well here we go. I got this done. I used super glue. I use super glue because it's fast. I did this, I honestly smacked it get together in about 30 seconds. Okay, and it's, see, it's sturdy. Uh, the only thing you can't do is like bend it out or in. But we're going to be putting floors in here, which is going to give it some stability. So all you have to do is pretty much just tack it. Uh, you just got to tack the edges because you're going to put the PVA glue and the, the heavy duty stuff in the flooring. So it, it keep, gives that that structure. I'm going to give it a, uh, a flooring 
after I'm done with the uh, putting in the floors, I'm going to put that uh, like a hardboard. But I think I'm just going to use really thin cardboard. It's uh, a little easier to cut and work with. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a measurement about where I want the floor. Now, being that it's all blown up, I'm not really going to get exact measurements. I just want to uh, give it the feel that it's, I'm going to have it like tilted, like the, the bottom came out and it's going to be slanted a little bit. So I'm going to take a measurement about where I want the floor, it turns out to be about 7 inches. I'm going to cut another one up here, it's about 5, and then another one up here, about 3. I'm going to go over to this piece, and I'm going to cut on the clean edge so I get that nice contact when I decide to glue it. I'm going to cut that 7, and then I'm going to go over here and cut a 5, I'm going to go back over here and cut the 3. So I'm going to get those and put them in, and I'm going to show you what they look like. Here we are. I cut out the three pieces for the flooring, small, medium, and large, <laughs> and I'm going to put them in where the uh, each edge hooks up with the wall. I'm just going to glue them in like that, and then I'm going to take the second piece and put it in up here, and then take the third piece and put it in way up here. So I'm going to glue these in, and I'm going to show you what it looks like after that. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to peel off all of the paper. So it gives it that textured feel again, and I'm going to chip up and break these edges to give it that blown up feeling. I might even put some holes in the floor itself. All right, now here we go. I put in the first floor, and if you notice, this edge sticks out a little bit farther. I blew off this one. Now there's two holes right here at the edge of the floor. Now you can't have that. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's a straight line. There's a big hole in the wall, but the floor is still intact. Okay, same over here. Okay, the floor is still intact, but there's a big hole. I did this so I know where to blow up the floor. The fastest way to do it is to build the walls with the holes and then put the floor in perfectly straight and then blow up the floor where the holes are so you know exactly where to, to take out the chunk and how big to make it uh, just by eyeballing it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take off this, blow up the, the, uh, the floor. Then I'm going to do the same up here and there. Okay, well here we go. I finished the destruction to the floors. Now there's no straight line. It's uh, an indention. Blows up where the, uh, the hole is. There's some holes here. The little piece up here. <laughs> I don't know you, what you use that for really. I guess it's just for looks. And now the next part of this whole ordeal is going to be putting a base. What I'm going to do is grab a like a thin cardboard box, if I can find one, uh, put this on it, outline a jagged area along this from corner to corner, cut that on straight lines, make a little overlap, and some overlap back in here, and then I'm going to base it. Well, here you have it. It's based, and it's put together. It looks like Swiss cheese. <laughs> now that's going to be all for this video. The next one, I'm going to most likely finish this. I'm going to put a uh, kind of a barrier type thing here. Um, I'm going to paint it and texture it. I'll show you all how to do that. Texturing is fairly easy. You just get some spackle paint. Uh, you have to be careful though because this stuff will melt with spray paint. So I will go into more detail in the next video. This is playable. This is, see I can lift it up by every floor. This is playable. You just drop this on the table, boom, guess what? It doesn't look the prettiest, it's some big white building that looks like Swiss cheese, but it's playable. It's sturdy, it's transportable, it's really light. There's no real weight to it. So that's that, that's how you build a functional building. And the rest is just making it look pretty. To make that building just a structure only took me about an hour. So it's gonna take me about another hour to detail it and paint it. And then we're done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. The next one for this terrain project is going to be how to detail and paint it.